this video will be about straight line graphs. So the very famous equation y equals mx plus c, which a lot of you probably would have heard in school. Today we're going to learn about what it really means. So y equals mx plus c has four main components. You've got the y, the m, the x and the c. You don't need to know necessarily what the y and the x mean. They don't really affect anything here. But the m and the c are both very important. The m describes something called the gradient of the line. And the c represents the y-intercept. Now that just means the point at which the line itself crosses the y-axis. So we'll talk about that in an example on the next page. So we've got two lines here. We're going to focus on the blue one first. And our aim is to work out the y equals mx plus c for both of these lines. So to do that, we need to work out what the m is and also what the c is. So for our first line, it's always a good start to just start straight away with the c. So the c we can just look at. Now if you follow the line all the way down, you can see that it crosses the y-axis at the point 3. This means we can write y equals mx plus 3. And that is that bit done. Now the next part, to work out the gradient, some of you may look at this and already think you know the answer. The best thing I try to do is highlight the points where they cross through the nice coordinates. So what I mean by that is where the coordinates are whole numbers. So you can see here at kind of the intersections of those grey lines, and once you've marked on those points, pick one of them, it could be any, and I want you to draw a line, one square, out from the line. Now, the indication of what the gradient is, is how many squares, or units, of the axes do you have to go up to get back to that line. So you can see here, one, two. So our gradient is two. And you can see if you were to do that anywhere else, one, two. It's going to be two everywhere because it's a straight line. So overall, our equation would be y equals 2x plus 3. Next, we're going to look at the second line. So, again, write out your y equals mx plus c, always a good starting point. And again, we can identify whereabouts does this line cross the y-axis. We can see it's at 1 there. So we're going to have y equals mx plus 1. Now gradient, so we mark on those points again. So this one you can see straight away, those nice points that we were talking about happen at every single intersection here. So again, pick one of them, can be any. We draw one square out, how many squares does it take to get back up to the line? One. And again you can see that is the same everywhere. So overall we have y equals x plus 1. Technically this would be 1x but that doesn't matter because it's 1. So these two here would be our final answer. There are situations where you can have negative or fractional gradients. They're a little bit harder to identify but I will make a separate video on this for you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that helped.